Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Seek to Give Love, Not Possess. Well, I've got an interesting email here from a guy who was married for many years to his wife until he found out that she was basically fucking a coworker. And so he talks about some of the things that he's learned and his experience with her and some of the mistakes that he realized that he made while he was with her and also how he did a lot of things right when they first start, got together. And he also talks about the new girl that he's dating. Now he's been employing the things he's learned in my book and my videos and articles. So I have a quote that I wrote on this topic and then we're going to go through his email. And the quote says, the best things in life are free. The secret to a high quality life and personal relationships is easy when you know what to focus on and how to treat other people. If what you're doing in your personal or professional life is not getting you the results you really want and deserve, then you need to change your unsuccessful approach. Why? If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got. Unsuccessful people toil and struggle doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. Successful people realize when their approach is flawed or not working and seek out new knowledge, strategies, and techniques from people who are already getting the easy and effortless results that they want. Then they model their success by doing the same things and eventually they get the same results. So let's look at his email. He says, hey Corey, I recently started following you on YouTube and I'm halfway done reading your book. I know, I need to get on it. Yep, 10 to 15 times, dude. Learn the fundamentals. Some of the stuff that you talk about in your videos really hit home for me. I recently filed for divorce from my wife of two years. We dated for two years and were married for another two. After I discovered that she was cheating on me with one of her coworkers for a couple of months. Ugh, that fucking sucks, dude. That sucks ass. That's why it's so important to make sure... You use the stuff that's in my book to get yourself a good, high-quality woman with integrity. I've done so many emails and, and videos over, over the years where guys just – they blow right through those red flags and they ignore, they ignore that lack of integrity and think, hey, I'm going to be different. I know she's flirting with other guys when we were dating but that was just in the first year that we were together. She seems to have stopped that by now. Never good. And this is why, case in point. There were several red flags that I missed early on in our relationship and I told myself several lies in order to stick around and get married to this woman and not lose her. So you really married her to possess her instead of just love her for who she was. That's a bad way to go. When I first met her, I used to be an alpha male. I was always indifferent. I think this initially attracted her towards me. It's only after a few years of dating that I somehow transformed into this needy, insecure wussy of a man who completely came unglued every time we would argue. Like you say, I did not understand women and how they communicated at all. Early on in our relationship, my ex had told me that she instantly loses respect for any guy that shows too much emotion or acts like a woman, aka not a man. And she could never date such a guy. Hey, that's her disclaimer. She told you right up front. If you ever basically turn into a wussy of a man, I can't be with you anymore. But in her, what she did was she just, oh, okay, well, instead of fixing my relationship, let me just go get my needs met elsewhere. That's just fucking not cool. I did not understand the meaning of this statement then, but I definitely do now. Eventually, my wussy self beta male attitude gave in to everything she wanted to do. Yeah, he submits and goes along with everything she says she wants, but yet she still fucks somebody else. Just more evidence that what women think they want is not what they're attracted to. I never stood up for myself and I acted like a total beta male. This behavior led to more arguments in our relationship. And eventually I uncovered the cheating and this led to the end of her marriage. I understand now that there was nothing I could have done to prevent the cheating or lying and maybe this was who she was all along but I could have definitely done many things differently had I have known your work. Well, the good news is you had this experience and it led you to my work so now you won't make the same mistakes twice, hopefully. 
That said, had I known about your work, we would have never gotten married in the first place because you would have realized she just wasn't good marriage material. I mean, because obviously there's red flags. He noticed some things early on. But he was like, no, it's great. It's going to be wonderful. I'm different. I'm so much different than those other guys. I'm different than that other guy that she was cheating on him with me. Wrong. If she's a cheater, she's always going to be a cheater. When she's not happy, she cheats. She doesn't communicate. She just cheats. It's easier for a person like that. It's easier to cheat. It's it's easier to lie. That's what they learned. They learned that you know, when they were a little girl and they've been doing it their whole life. They're not going to change. That's their nature. That's their fallback position. They're emotionally conditioned to think, act, and be that way. They don't care. They're narcissistic. They're self-centered. They don't give a shit who they hurt. They don't give a shit who's – marriage or relationship they ruin all they care about is what they want those kind of people are only good for fuck buddies friends with benefits sex playmates or somebody to have an open relationship with that way there's nothing to get butter hurt about because you can do what you want and she can do what she wants but if that doesn't work for you then you need to find somebody that and you want to have an exclusive relationship you got to find somebody that places a high value on communication commitment and loyalty meaning loyalty really means something to them but fast forward to today and he says, I'm happy to say that I'm now dating a great woman that adores me and takes the time out of her life to do things for me. The effortless part of dating was something I never knew existed. It's fucking amazing. It's almost like you've cracked the code of human interactions or something. Something like that, I guess. Anyway, I love watching your videos and getting the knowledge you provide. Thanks for everything you do for your fellow man. I know there's a lot of a lot of men and women that are watching this video that are in that same situation. They're either in the process of a breakup, they're considering a breakup, and you can see when you start applying the right philosophy to how you live your life and your relationships, things can get better. I mean, this guy went through a shitty time here, had a really difficult marriage, but now here he is, he's dating a great girl, and things are just like what he said here. He says, the effortless part of dating was something I never knew existed. It's fucking amazing. Life is supposed to be easy. It's naturally designed that way, but you got to know how to show up. And my book can help you get there. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session with yours truly. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen. And just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I will talk to you soon.